Okay, so you've never shied away from taking accountability um, as you just did. If I may ask, in saying what you just said, is it right off the game that you look at something like today and say something I could have done on the court, something in practice, something vocal, something vocal? What do you look at yourself? Because there are times we, we're watching and seeing the best player in the world. What do you feel you need to do defensively? Is it at practice, leading your team, or is it you personally on the court? It's a mixture of both. It's it's everywhere. I take a lot of, I take I put myself out there on the front because I don't want my teammates here. I go by the crowd because I love them so much. <laughs> it's hard. It's really really hard, and I don't even know why I'm crying, but I love my teammates so much that I will take any hit from them, good, bad, ugly. I'm gonna go out there and I'm gonna try to be. The best, I get y'all saying best player in the world, that's great, it looks great, but I want to be the best person. I want to be the best teammate because that's how I get the best out of my team. So when it comes to wins, losses, when I tell you I break this game down piece by piece because I don't want to be great for you guys, no offense, but I want to be great for my team. I want to be great for this franchise. It is hard as shit. It is hard as shit because there's tons of people that want to break you down. Great teams in this league that are going to try to come after you every single night. But when it comes to taking accountability, I have no problem in that because I want to be great. I want to be great for my teammates. So, yes, it can start in practice. Yes, it starts in training camp. Yes, it starts in the wins and the losses. But I'm not going to stop. I'm going to continue to challenge myself and my teammates every single day because when you're talking about greatness, it starts with consistency. Anybody can, everybody can be good here and there, but who can be great every single game, every possession? And that's what I'm striving for. And it's hard as shit. Mm -hmm. I promise y'all, it's hard as shit. Mm -hmm. But I promise you, I'm not going back down. So it starts from with me, and it's going to always be with me because I have 11 other women in that locker room that I need to pull greatness out of. So that's where it goes from. If it's talking more, is it trying to fight on the court? Is it being a defensive presence? I'm going to be that every single day for my team because I want them to be great, not just for rings and banners, because I know the potential that we have in the locker room. So it starts everywhere with me. And I'm going to take that challenge every single day and going, going out there. Y'all can still see me smiling and dancing because uh, I never want anyone to see us break. And obviously, I'm crying down breaking. But it's a part of it. And I want you guys to see this. This shit's hard. I'm not going to sit up here and act like it's roses. It's hard, but I'm not going back down ever. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Got two more here. Well, my Coach, what's, what's your response to, you know, Asia breaking down and, you know, how does she push you to be a better coach? Oh, man, me and A talk a lot. <laughs> we talk a lot. Um, I know how much she cares. Um, you know, she just, I talk about it a lot, you know, just who she is as a person and as a leader. Um, so losing, she could care less. She would rather average 12 and 10 and win. And win. She would rather do that. I'm telling you, I'm telling you right now, that's who she is. Um, she's been playing amazing, you know, but we have not in this. And I tell them that I, I tell it to their face right now. We don't have an edge yeah. and we have not had it since day one in training camp. And I felt it. And I've tried to address it, but we just, we're not that hungry, yeah. you know? And, and so, um, you know, the, 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 the mistakes, you know, cause it's like plugging holes in a dam. It's like you do, okay, you fix this then. And then this hole pops over here and then you plug that hole. And now this, this hole pops over there. Um, I think there's a lot of, Obviously, nobody likes losing in that locker room. That's a given. Okay, nobody likes it. Uh, but we're the only ones that can do anything about it as well. So, um, you know, the element of being tired and this and that, that's real. I'll i will buy that. Um, but it, it's no excuses for the earlier losses, you know. Like, what are we now at home? Three and four or something like that? What is it? Three and four. Yeah, three and four. Um, we lost one game here last year, one. And, you know, we can sit here and say, oh, we don't have Chelsea. And there is an element of that. Obviously, there's an element of that because it, it's like everything's interconnected, right? Like it's it's like a body. 
Like, how can you do press something in my foot and release pressure in my neck? It's like, you know, and, and, and so when conversely, whether you're talking about defense and offense, obviously we know we can control the defensive and more some at times and offensively, but like when you're missing shots and you're constantly in transition and you're constantly just backpedaling, um, it gets hard. And conversely, okay, now we weren't very efficient offensively. Now our defensive efficiency starts to go down because, you know, there's, there's just, it's like a snowball effect. And um, that's where Chelsea helps because, you know, she's somebody who knows how to stop the bleeding, when to stop the bleeding, um, how. And so getting her back and her presence is, is real. I mean, we're playing against teams that, um, you know, we're, we're a fine-tuned ecosystem. And so you, you take an ingredient or two out, you know, it, it kind of trickles down through the whole group. Um, but we still have enough. I, 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 I don't want to make it an excuse for Chelsea. There's not, believe me, uh, they played without their point guard too, mm-hmm. you know? So there's no excuses here. Um, it is what it is. We're not a very good team right now. Um, and you can talk about potential and talent all, all, all day long. Great. We have that. Uh, we don't play together collectively as a group defensively or offensively right now.